Hello everybody, this is Training Gamer back to kick off round three of my tournament. And we are obviously starting with Group A of course, and I should point out that I'm sure you all missed my lovely voice in the last three tournament videos. Yes, my mic decided to have a malfunction and OBS was being an ass. But yeah, we're back at it now, and hopefully I will be staying in the commentary box this time instead of vacating it. But anyway, enough about that. Yes, we got three matches to go through here. Starting off with Yamazanadu going up against Ghidorah. A clash at the top between our hosts and Engineer Gaming. And then we'll have Michaela taking on Cerno Strongest Fairy. Now, round three, I feel like, is when we really get to define how the groups will finish. So yeah, this could be a very interesting round, as all the round threes will be for this, for this tournament. So, let's get started with Yamazanadu going up against Ghidorah. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Yamazanadu, we have a Gojirasaurus. We've seen what this Gojirasaurus can do. It's been quite useful for Yamazanadu so far in this tournament. However, in the blue corner for Ghidorah, we have a Shantungosaurus. I think in every match so far, this Shant has had the type disadvantage. <laughs> against Cerno, had to face Ustrip the Spondylus. Against me, had to face Mega Raptor. And now he's got to face a good Durasaurus, so yeah. Don't know if we'll see too much of this guy. As well, we saw how badly the type disadvantage cost Ghidorah in his last match. I mean, in the first matchup, he kind of got away with it because the Spinal cleaned house, but last time he didn't get away with it. Will he get away with it this time? I should also point out that both of our combatants have Super Eel Kakaria. The two combatants in this tournament that run it, and they're both in the same team, in the same group. So yeah, I'll be intrigued to see how that matchup goes. Ooh, a crit is just what the Shant wants. No Super Impact means it won't be effective at a tight disadvantage, and that's just the start Ghidorah wants. Yeah, look at the difference now. Look how little this damage this is going to do. Yeah, look at that. The Gojurasaurus could probably tank another hit. Shows the difference, doesn't it? Ooh, it's a tie. Gojurasaurus is charged type, but it's on really low health. Yamazana do yet to get a hit. And he's not getting a hit. Shantungasaurus giving Ghidorah a 1-0 lead. Right then, as for Yamazanadu's second dino, we have a Super Tala Ruras. I would say Ghidorah got away with one there. Because if, if that Gojurasaurus had got off some hits, I think Ghidorah would have been in trouble. They have the attack boost. Okay, so yes, it's Super Tala Ruras. The Awaken Mode on three, of course. And now has the tight disadvantage against the Shant. Ghidorah could, well, will probably have a 2 0 lead because. Only Ghidorah's been getting hits off so far. Ooh, but Yamazanadu does have the attack boost. It does get the first hit, and it's a critical one. Once. Yeah, I will say Yamazanadu does have the death fire, so Ghidorah's gonna have to be careful. Doesn't want that death fire getting triggered. Ooh, a big hit from Ghidorah coming in. Will we see Nature's Blessing or Thorn Whip? Wow, I did loads of damage. There's a type advantage for you. Oh, it's Nature's Blessing. Um, that is twice. Ooh, it's going to be awakening time for the Tala Rose. Oh, the Shank survived. <laughs> uh, poor Yamazana do, but it does get the Awaken Mode up, so. A tie, well, a tie would be the best case scenario here. Oh, but the Shant gets a hit! Yeah, I think Ghidorah's gonna win this match. Even with the death fire. Like. Wow, another Nature's Blessing. Not, not one Thorn Whip, it's all been Nature's Blessing. Oh, it's a tie, but that will, that will suit Yamazana do. Getting off the Crystal Crusher. The Shant finally going down, and Ghidorah will not have a 2-0 lead, but he still has a sizable lead. Um, alright, as for Ghidorah's second dino, we have a Spinosaurus. Well, we've definitely seen what this Spinosaurus can do, and... Although, 
considering that Super Eokark is coming in third, maybe the Spinal could have done with a water move. That's the type of manager. But it does have the attack boost to make up for it. I wouldn't count the Amazonadu out though. Well, it's too early to count anyone out, but the Amazonadu does have the Death Fire, and Death Fire can change everything. Oh wow, the Talaro survived! I'm impressed! Oh, well, it's not surviving that time. Talarora's biting the big one, Ghidorah and 2-1 in front. But, now comes the big threat from Yamazanadu, the Super Eokarkiria. Ghidorah has the Awaken mode to worry about, and that death fight. And attack boost as well. <laughs> and, without water moves, the tight disadvantage does not apply, so Eokarkiria will be dealing standard damage. Could that be costly? Oh, it's a tie! No interruption now. Yeah, we all knew it was coming. It's a tail smash. <laughs> no, I, ju I just had a thought in my head that, oh yeah, this is going to be a fall. Look at that. Ghidorah on course for the bonus point win. And there it is, bonus point win, no arguments, no surprise there. Ghidorah bouncing back after a disappointing loss in round two. And preventing our death fire from getting triggered. As for Yamazana, do didn't quite happen for it this time, very stuttery performance there. I thought they would do a lot better in this match. I think when, once the Gojirasaurus went down, I think that enabled Ghidorah to have a grip, strong grip on the match. I feel like if that Ghidorah killed the Shant, then Ghidorah would be playing... If if that Gojirasaurus killed the Shant, then Ghidorah would be playing catch-up. And I think Yamazanadu would have won with a Death Fire. But, yeah. Didn't quite happen for, it there, unfor for them, unfortunately. But, you know, there's always next time. Now then... On to a match. I'm actually really looking forward to this one. Taking on a worthy opponent in Engineer Gaming. I feel like this is going to be a big test for, for me. Uh, but anyway, in the red corner for the hosts, we have Mega Raptor. Oh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Maybe that'll give me the upper hand here because I'm using Dr. Z. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a this is the going to be a tough test here because this Mega Raptor does have the type disadvantage on this Acrocanthosaurus of Engineer Gaming's. In the blue corner, and Engineer Gaming has started really strong in this tournament, getting two wins out of two, and getting a bonus point or two as well. So yeah, this is going to be tough. I'd probably say if Engineer Gaming wins this match, which, well, looking at the matchup, the match, you know, it is in his favour. If he does win this matchup, I would probably say Engineer Gaming will have, would be about 80-90% through. But we'll just have to see, won't we? Oh, Mega Raptor getting the first hit. Oh, it's a crit block as well. That will definitely favour our host there. But yeah, look at the damage. Pitiful. However, the paper will be going bye-bye. So, our hosts will be going rock. Engineer Gaming will be going for rock as well. So, it's a tie. i probably say ties, even though they trigger the burning dash. Okay, maybe not. Not when it gets the burning dash! Oh my god, this 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 is going to be a one shot. If he gets the flare sword off as well, Mega Raptor is dead. Like, yeah. Oh, I I was bringing it because if he got the flare sword off, Mega Raptor was dead. But big damage there, big damage. Mega Raptor striking back though, chipping away at the Acro's health. Which is always good. Oh, it's a tie. Well, it doesn't matter if he gets Burning Dash off now, because uh, actually, actually, that's not the word. That's a, that's all right, actually, because it's wasted. Then he's bit, yes, he's got the lead. He doesn't have that much of a lead, and the Burning Dash is gone. And the only way he'll get it again is a tie. And ties are gonna suit Kamarasaurus more to, than Acro. And I'll hopefully get off an ocean panic and kill the acro. So yeah, I don't mind that. I'd rather him get the burning dash off on the Megaraptor with like a minuscule amount of health than this camera. 
And if I get off Ocean Panic, I can negate go through the tag team as well, which I think has been triggered. But yeah, here's my Dino. Second Dino, the wild card of the team, the Kamarasaurus. So yeah, you know, Engineer Gaming has the lead, but it's not the worst case scenario. However, I do have a wild card and wild cards can be very risky. Oh, it's a tie. No Ocean Panic. Oh, you got to be sh Oh, he didn't get it, but the tag team coming in, saving the acro from going down. Yeah, that's why I wanted Ocean Panic, because it would negate the tag team, and the acro would die. Oh, how big could that be? Well, he's not getting Burning Dash off, but he's going to get a hit. Oh, a Flare Sword as well. Adding extra damage, Engineer Gaming extending his lead. Oh, I feel like that Ocean Panic needed to activate. Oh, please don't be a six or a three. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, that's, not, that's actually the best case scenario in a way, because... Look at the damage. He's not doing any damage. Okay, yeah, there it is. Acro Camphosaur is going down. But Engineer Gaming still has a decent lead. Right, as for this second dino, it's a Panoplosaurus. Okay, if I can get off some Ocean Panics here, I can turn this around. And I think, if I hit him with Ocean Panic, Light Recovery doesn't get triggered either. Ooh, I'm very sneaky, aren't I? And I can get some damage going with Tides as well. I mean, Kama's not going to last, take it, can't tank another hit, so yeah. Just got to get some Tides going. Oh, it's a tie! Yeah, look at that damage. Oh, it's another tie! Come on, Kama, you can do it! Oh, no, well, it got off two ties. Yeah, this I think this is that lack of Ocean Panic is going to cost me here. Because if I go off Ocean Panic, well, it would have changed everything, but you know. As for my third dino, we got a Deinonychus. He's going to have his work cut out here to kill the Panopolis. Well, he's got to get hits for a start. I don't know, actually. I feel like I've gotten more hits off than Engineer Gaming. But obviously his hits do more damage because he gets crits. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh nice, the secret move getting triggered right away will help. Tie. Tie suit engineer game in now. Oh he gets another hit. Yeah, I, 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 I think I'm done. I, I'm not I'm not gonna come back from this. I, I, I have plenty of experience to know when the RNG is being favourable and is not being favourable to me. Okay, it'll be a tie. And then you'll get the next hit. You'll get a five, probably. Oh, maybe not. Well, it is random number generator. Boosh! Getting the defense boost going there, that proper, and the light recovery, which means that Engineer Gaming will need two hits to win the match, and not just one. Oh! Our host coming back into it! Panoplosaurus going down! And I think, for the first time in this tournament, we're going to see Engineer Gaming's third dino, which is a, a Super Creeposaurus. Actually, no, no, we have seen this guy before. I think it was in the first matchup we've seen this guy. Didn't see too much of it, though. Awaken mode on two, of course, which I don't, well, I know we haven't seen at all. Actually, maybe we have. So many matches, I just can't remember, right? Oh, this is interesting now, because I pulled it back. Oh, no, no, I pulled it back, so now they'll start giving him the hit. <laughs> I know what you're doing, you sneaky little sod. But, you know, at least it makes for good entertainment. Oh, wow. That was a terrible amount of damage. Defense boost coming in handy there. Okay, that's once. Oh, um, yeah, well, done on it because it's done. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surviving this. And uh, no, I'm not going to deliberately mess up so I survive. Badoosh. 
Engineer Gaming getting the win here. Another three points on the board, and that will pretty much secure his place in the last 32. Yeah, but yeah, three wins is more than, it's pretty much enough. Yeah, Dynonicus is done. Engineer Gaming getting a win. Yeah, you know, I put up a good fight though, you know, given that I was basically playing catch-up for the whole match because the RNG was being favourable towards Engineer Gaming, I put up a really good fight. But yeah, I think the costly moments had to be the lack of Ocean Panics. Like, if I get the Ocean Panic off on the acro, that acro gets zero hits on the camera. Then I get off Ocean Panic on the Panoplosaurus, and again, I add more damage. So yeah, it's... Ocean Panic could have turned the screw in my favour, but sadly it didn't happen for me. But yep, well done to Engineer Gaming for getting a big win in the tournament. And might they be a dark horse in this tournament? <laughs> I say that and they'll get, probably get knocked out straight away in the last 32. I think it happened to them last time. They had really good, a really good run of form and then they lost. But yeah, enough about match number two. Let's move on to our final match of this session, which sees Michaela going up against winless Cerno Strongest Fairy. Alrighty then, in the red corner, for Michaela, we got Alexovasaurus. Michaela claiming an impressive win against Yamazanadu in the last round. And can they, can she back it up with another win again sooner? We'll just have to see, won't we? This Alexovasaurus does pack a huge punch, especially in the crit department. In the blue corner, for Cerno, we got a Eustreptospondylus. Cerno, winless in Group A so far. You've really feel like they have to get some points on the board to give themselves a proper fighting chance of getting out of this group. <laughs> oh, that's a tie. That Quake Saber's getting triggered. Ooh, but... Streptospondylus starting with a crept. Good start there by Cerno. Ooh, that's a tie. And another tie. Ooh, Cerno going into a 1 0 lead with a biting win. Could this, could Cerno finally get their first win of this tournament? Well, I don't expect Cerno to extend their lead because, for Michaela's second dino, it's the Giga. This Giga packs the power of Magma Blaster, has the extra damageness of the Flare Sword and the Volk Burst as well. This Giga, I'm pretty certain, will kill the Eustreptospondylus, and if it doesn't, then I'm just going to declare Cerno the winner there and then. <laughs> but Michaela's third dino doesn't count. Ooh, you stripped the Spondylus getting the hit there. But yeah, look at that. Very little damage done. Ooh, another hit. For wow, but Cerno's doing really well so far. Getting off loads of hits, but as I said, one hit from the Giga might even this up, up a bit. But. You can't take advantage of the type of advantage if you don't get the hits. Hey, Michaela finally getting a hit. Yeah, look at that. What is this? It's a Falk Burst. Extra damage dealt there. Michaela finally putting up a fight. That's a tie. Will that kill you straight the Spondylus? Nope. However, this hit will kill Eustreptospondylus. Michaela even in the score, but the Eustreptospondylus did leave a dent. Okay then, as for, um, the Cerno second die, no, we got a, um, well, Mini King. Haven't seen too much of Mini King, seems to die relatively quickly. Down, down. Brixir! I gotta double check my mic audio is working. Okay, I think it is. Well, I recorded video earlier, but. 
Oh, well, Digger's dead. Oh, hang on, it's, it's, it's Final Thunder, isn't it? Gotta get me wits about me. Otherwise, the Giga will survive. And we can't have that, can we? Well, Michaela wouldn't mind, but, you know. Gotta go full tilt with the Final Thunder, haven't we? Okay. That has just sealed the fate of the Giganonosaurus, and has ensured that Cerno will have a 2-1 lead. Yep, Giga's dead. Twitching as well. All the nerves severed and neutralised. Alright then, as for Michaela's fur dino, we've got a Super Taurosaurus. The boot of the lightning dinosaurs here. Lightning Axe came in clutch last time against Yamazanadu. And I think Michaela's going to need that Lightning Axe again. Or Cerno's going to get their first win of the tournament. Oh, lightning strike coming in. Oh, yeah, I think this is going to be it. <laughs> Look at the belly button. I think Cerno is going to get their first win of the tournament. Well, I don't think this is going to kill the Taurosaurus, but it's going to definitely leave a mark. Yep, I think Taurosaurus will just survive this, but unless the Taurosaurus gets the next hit, we're not going to see the Awaken mode, and instead, we're going to see Cerno get a bonus point win. Oh, never mind, it died. <laughs> um, well, there's a bonus point win for Cerno there. Wow. Michaela, well, it's... Uh, it didn't really get going, to be honest. Kind of a one-sided affair there, unfortunately, but, you know... It is what it is. We just have to take it as it comes. Right, I'm going to have a look at the table, which should be intriguing, and then end the session. Well, yeah, I think that's Engineer Gaming through. I can't see Engineer Gaming getting knocked out now. Three wins out of three. That's more. That's enough for him. I think I think it's job done for Engineer Gaming. They're going through. Um, I think, again, one more win for me and Ghidorah will probably do it as well. But, you know, it's very tight at the bottom here. Look at this. Really, really tight. But yeah, good win for Engineer Game in there. Yeah, it's pretty much secure in there. I'd say they're 90% through. Like, I don't think anyone has ever gone out of one of my tournaments having got 10 points. I think everyone that's got at least 10 points has gone through. So yeah, I'd say Engineer Gaming is about 95% through. As for Ghidorah, well, again, one win will, for or any of these guys will give them a strong grip on the top three. But yeah, you know, very, very tight. Look at that. The two bonus points has literally kept me in the top three. Yeah. Shows how crucial that win from Ghidorah was over Yamazanadu, because Yamazanadu's at the bottom now. Well, joint bottom with Michaela, I, I should say. Okay, let's have a look at round four. Round four, ooh, it's going to be... Look, it's going to be I'm playing first. I think the saving grace for me is I do have to play these two. Which, like, no disrespect to these two, but I feel like will be easier matchups than what I've had so far. Like, honestly, no disrespect to these two. <laughs> Watch me lose both of them now and get knocked out as I say that, but, you know. Looking at the matches so far, I feel like these two will be the easiest matches for me. And I feel like I can win both of them. And then we will see Cerno Strongest Fairy going up against Yamazanadu. That's going to be a massive game at the bottom. And then... It is... No, wait, no, wait. I'm up against Michaela first. Yes, it's the hosts taking on Michaela. And then a clash at the top between Engineer Gaming and Ghidorah. And, well, the winner of that match will 100% get go. So, yeah, that's going to end this session. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time, where we will do round three for Group B. And until then, this is Strange Gamer, signing out. <laughs>